One is in grand, so. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say you've got two members of your carpool left. You're here as well. Yeah. I we're, thought you were gonna left the venue for no. a second. We're, we're all here representing. That's. But we're off to a hot start. Small battlefield. John loves to like just play gentlemen to the stage. And it's, it, it's a great stage. And it's, I mean, it's not only incredibly neutral, I think also just the the amount of offstage space you have here, yeah. here, as well as just how accessible the ledges are, plus the positioning of the platforms are so good for Wii Fit, right? Both in controlling soccer ball and in finding this l defensive ledge pressure, finding the jungles that she likes to, and we're seeing John already early on take advantage of that. Yeah, no, he is so good at controlling the pace here. And one big thing I need you to know, like, play, play, your, play your thing, play your thing. Raptor? Hates fighting John. Like mo like most people here, he, he gets under the people's skins, able to beat everyone. He, king King of New York, King of Zeno. But whenever Raptor says, "Yo, I have to play John in the bracket," eyes goes cross and everything. But right now, he's putting in the, in the work, and there we go. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, like, it's just so hard for Yoshi, especially a character with this very exploitable linear recovery. He, that yes, you have egg, yes, you have double jump armor, but John is so incredibly patient that he doesn't get tricked out by that way a lot of people do. And since Yoshi has to commit to those buttons early in order to make it back from down low, John has all the time in the world to line up the spikes that we've been seeing. Yeah, you gotta be wary of like what John wants. A lot of it is setups and. He's really good at just catching him, but again, he does overextend a lot. So you gotta catch him overextending, and then once you do, you just punish him for it. And I, you know, I, I really like that you bring up the, the setups and the overextensions as well, because just like John is a player that is known for his patience, he's a player that tests yours. Yeah. Right. As long as you are playing incredibly, like as long as you are being very disciplined against John numbers, you should be. And, and yeah. No. He. Once, once you like, if you can outpatient John, you can outpatient everyone mm -hmm. in this game. On that note, it's really hard to outpatient someone when you're down. Yeah, and also when they are just not interacting with yeah. you, throwing projectiles and getting buffs, self healing. Right? This yeah. is a character that by the mechanics and not interacting with him, you are just losing the lead. You feel oh. like you have to, and that's where we see characters go off, try to spike you off stage, and we see we find the reversals like we did there with the downer. Yeah. And this is this is doable right now. John is off stage, though it is his own, able to break Yoshi's double jump armor with that side B. Yeah. And people forget, right? Like, I'm, I, I always, is I need to, I need to reread the explanation that was sent to me of exactly how Yoshi double jump armor works in Ultimate, because I'm terrible at explaining it. But it's not. It's not percent bad. reductive armor. It's no. not reductive no. armor no. like it was in Smash It's not by yeah. yeah. Essentially, so mm -hmm. no, basically the harder you hit, so yeah. it will break armor. Yep. Yeah. And and that's kind of something like it's different than it has worked in the past, I think, yeah. to some degree as well. And so I think a lot of people still aren't sure the correct situations with which to try and break yeah. Well, armor. John knew yeah. at that moment because that was definitely deliberate, breaking the Yoshi's armor. Absolutely. And we are now running it back and getting the tech chase for 56%. People, again, I was saying it with Big Easy before, but people don't talk about how good this character's damage output is even without deep breathing, right? Soccer ball hits hard. Salute the sun hits hard. Down air, forward air, just do so much percent. Yeah, and the big thing is, like, not all of it's true damage, but it leads into so many tech chases and there's so many variables that you have to account for it defensively that it might as well just feel true. Yeah, dude, it's just so, like, and these, like, and just the angles, right? Like, the fact that this character is, is sending you, it has not only really weird hitboxes, but sends you at really weird angles, kind of can make a lot of people get put in situations relative to their opponent that they just aren't used to being in, which forces more mistakes than you ordinarily would see. Yeah. And a big thing here is jaw numbers. Now playing with the soccer ball a lot more to this like catch Raptor like jumping. Notice Raptor likes to jump uh, like this vanish and sometimes burn his double jump armor early like what he did there. And he's just trying to snipe him out knowing that the knockback will break it. And I, I really appreciate you mentioning the early double jump burning as well because Raptor loves to try and predict John being aggressive with 
double jump. They're trying to be a little bit more patient, do it on reaction, and losing his stock for it, missing the tech off stage. Numbers trying to set up that high soccer ball to cover himself, as you were talking about before there, and just not able to find it, but still just trying to find the pressure, but the overextension, not gonna punish him because Raptor trying to call him out in turn. Yeah, and this is starting to get tough if you are a Raptor fan, because John is racking up percent now at 49% done. May not feel like a lot, but okay, right there, he's able to find the kill. Raptor has been known to struggle to find these kills at crucial moments. I really like that one, especially because not only did he find it, he did it by drifting back and fast falling just for a second to get underneath the down air and recognize using the start of as well of that up, up air to just kind of lean in, down and around down found the spike from Numbers to find the stock. Now just trying to maintain the extra pressure, keeping Numbers in the corner, but keep applying just enough so that Weefit can't set up and get comfortable like she wants to, but it's so hard. We see Numbers already, right, finding a way to evade it, get under this plat, get back and reset to neutral. Yeah. Oh. And this is gonna be really tough, because John just looks like he's playing on point right now. And Raptor just, yeah, just kind of, doesn't have the game plan. That, and I, don't, I don't know if you saw it there in the player camp. Yeah. He just grimaced and he's, he's starting to get a little bit tilted and yeah. you can see it come through the stuff you talked about before. Yeah. It, that's the thing with John, you need a game plan going in. And once you have that game plan, you can't falter from it. But Raptor doesn't seem like he has a complete game plan on what to do against John. And it, it felt like he did at the beginning of the game yeah. though, but it, as he's kind of gotten a little bit more stressed, as some of these scram scram situations have gone a little more back and forth than maybe he'd want ideally, you're seeing him take some more aggressive swings, start to second guess his movement a little bit more and get a an overextend just a tiny bit, trying to find a stock there, for example, but instead it's gonna give numbers the opportunity to escape. Yeah, and Mike Tyson once said, everybody got a game plan until you get punched in the face. Yes, and sir. Raptor got punched in the face. And still holding on, but 116, a deep breathing back air can't take it right here. So he does have a lot to be worried about. Yep. Some of those projectiles too, right? A full salute to Sun, a well-placed soccer ball also very much could just find a way to take the game. But likewise with Yoshi, you find a grab, right? You find a way to pressure them in the corner. That forward air, we already have seen. It takes stocks and crazy percents all night. Raptor looking for it once, twice. Are we gonna see the third? Instead, it's just gonna be a reset. But numbers finding the oh, timing on the edge perfectly. Burned. And the yep. pressure, that's gonna be it. Reggie, it felt like for a second there, we saw Raptor revert back to his game plan. You saw the simple ledge pressure. You saw, okay, I need. here's what I need to do to find the early stock. But the second Numbers got his feet back on the ground, any any any, any semblance of a plan just, just evaporated, man. Yeah, and that's what's tough. Because he has, like, the semi-punish game down and some of the advantage state, but he doesn't have the full concept of what he wants to do in the neutral to, to get those openings and like force numbers into those panic states that he wants to like repeat over and over. And it can get tough, but hopefully he can review the VOD and then just work it out. Cause he is getting closer and closer every time. And and honestly, like even though, right, this is, you know, a 2-0 in the favor of numbers. Yeah. And it felt very close. It felt like even in the moments he was panicking, he was still getting better. But it was just, numbers were so good, just like we saw that dash attack at the end, at calling out the startup on Yoshi Egg Toss to find a dash attack yeah. or a forward air, 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 air or, or in some, to hurt box shift around the egg because as you, because you swing back yeah. to get underneath it and then find the punish ish on that startup. And it just goes to show, right? Just how much knowledge Numbers has about this game. Yeah, like, I who's think... ready for that when they don't play Yoshi all the time?